AGM batteries. Understand this about AGM batteries. AGM batteries are used, are the best batteries to use for cardio system. AGM batteries are the best batteries to use for cardio system. What you want to do is look. What you want to do is look at the amplifier rating, which you know your amplifier does, divided by ten, and look for that amperage on the AGM battery to fill your needs. If your amplifier does a thousand watts. Divide that by 10, you get 100 amps. You need an AGM battery that's at least, and here's the catch. Don't just got an AGM battery that's 100, 100 amps because 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. You're looking for, add at least a quarter percent more. So you're looking for an AGM battery that's 125 amps or greater to help meet the needs of your 100 amps that's going to be needed to power a 1,000 watt amplifier. I'm going to say that again. Whatever the amplifier wattage is that you know it does, divide that number by 10. For instance, 2,500 watt amplifier. Divided by 10, you get 250 amps. Now look for AGM battery. 250 divided by 4 is what? 250 divided by 4 is 62. 62 plus 250 is 250 plus 62.5 is equal to 312. Look for a AGM battery that is in excess of 312 amps to power a 2500 watt Amplifier. Whatever your amplifier amp rating is, for every 100 watts, every 10 watts is 1 amp. For every 100 watts is 10 amps. Whatever your amplifier rating is, add 25% more. So if you had a 1,000 watt amplifier, you need 100 amp AGM. Add 25, I need 125 amp AGM. That way we know we have no lights dimming and the electrical needs, electrical demands that the amplifier is acting for, the battery can supply and be recharged by the alternator. If your battery amperage is over half what your alternator is rated at, you need to get another alternator. Because now your alternator cannot fully recharge the battery trying to meet the demands of the amplifier. This gets complicated, but it's necessary if you want to have an extremely loud system or the system that can be the best it can be. This is basic math. Watch this video over and over again till you get it ingrained in your head what you need as far as AGM batteries to supply an uh, amplifier and the alternator being recharged the AGM. Secondly, never ever power a system with a wet cell battery. You're not gonna get your full amperage that you need. A, a wet cell battery, which come from the factory, is made to store power, not give it up. Its ECR rating is very, very high. ESR, I forgot what that means, but it's a, it's a word that just trust me. You can look it up for yourself. It's, it's resistance is so high, it wants to store power, does not want to give it up. A AGM battery wants to bring power in and give it up to anything that has an ESR higher than it. And with that being said, because the AGM battery has a low ESR, never put an AGM with a wet cell battery. If you got a wet cell battery over here in the front of your car, and you got an AGM in the back. When you cut the car off, because the amplifier is no longer wanting any power, and the voltage has dropped on the wet cell, the AGM is going to try to fully charge the wet cell. It's not going to sit there and maintain its charge. It's going to send the power to the ESR that's higher than it. That's why you never run an AGM in a wet cell. Because when you cut the car off, 
your AGM battery is going to charge up that wet seal every single time you cut the call. And because it's not getting charged by the alternator, your, your voltage is going like this. Every day it's topping off that and it's going down. And it's going down. Well, I can defeat that by buying a charger and charge this up. Why don't you just get rid of the wet cell before you buy another AGM? Putting the cardio system in your system in your vehicle. First battery you buy is AGM. Replace the wet cell. Then you can add another AGM. Never ever run an AGM in a wet cell. For what I just said earlier, the AGM will always try to charge the wet cell. Whoever has the highest ESR. That's where the power is going when the vehicle is off. Okay? Remember that. I'm trying to help y'all <laughs> as I can keep it very simple. Understand how to get your system as loud as possible. No matter the brand of subwoofer, no matter the brand of equipment you run. Cardio is based on 12 volts DC. The subwoofer and the enclosure based on physics. It's that simple. Run your amplifier, your signal processors, your batteries, and your alternator. It's basic electricity. Basic 12 volts direct current. Your subwoofer and your enclosure is physics. Don't let nobody tell you no different. Okay, what I don't care how they feel. Feelings are done come involved in this. Feelings are not at play in this. I hope I was able to explain this to you where y'all can understand it. Get them if you need a box, I'm gonna holler at you. I'm gonna go holler at my wife with these 18 she got back there, you know what I mean? <laughs>